Now, if you want to get a little bit more crazier, all you have to do add more attention. When you add notes that are not in the key, it creates dissonance. And really, it, it gives you that type of feel that, you know, what is he doing on the, what is he doing? Like, everybody wants to know what chord is that? Because those type of chords are hard to, to hear because there's so much dissonance and there's so much tension. You, you'll find yourself trying to figure out what the notes are. And I found myself doing that a lot. But once I figured it out, I got it. And I'm, I'm, you're going to have it too. So let me show you some, some of those type of chords, okay? What you will play is in your left hand. Um, let me just show you the chord. This will be one of them. Okay? So, what you will play is in your left hand, you will play E flat, D flat, and E. And in your right hand, you will play G, A, C, and E flat, okay? Once again, and let me point out the notes that are not in the key. E is not in the key of A flat. A is not in the key of A flat. So, this really is giving it that tension. Okay? So, you hear that? Dun, dun, dun. So, this, so, the A is sticking out a whole lot. So, basically, this chord is used to get back to the one as well. So, let me show you one more time. E flat and D flat and, and E in your left hand. And if you're playing with a bass player, you don't have to play that E. Play it just like that. D flat, E, G, A, C, and E flat, okay? Okay? Now, if you want to change the voice up a little bit more, you can add the G in there too, depending on how you want, how the melody is going. Okay? Now you have D, D flat, E, G, A, C, E flat, and G. Okay? D flat, E, G, A, C, E flat, and G. That's for your left hand, D flat, E, G, right hand, A, C, E flat, and G. Okay? Okay? Now, there's another crazy one that you can do. Let's, let's check it out. 